Hi, I'm Jake with Down to Earth Trekking, and today I'm going to cover a few necessary pieces of gear that I always bring with me on a backpacking trip. And that is a knife, a compass, and a headlamp. And so through the video, I'm going to cover why I bring the gear, how I use it, and give my recommendations. And also, if you don't know, this is the fifth video in a series of videos where I go over all the gear that I bring with me on a backpacking trip. So, if you'd like to check out those videos after watching this one, I'd really appreciate it. And, if you'd like to skip around through this video, I've timestamped all the sections down below in the description, so feel free to use that to jump to whatever section or piece of gear you want to know about. Let's start with my headlamp. So the headlamp that I like to use is the Storm 400 by Black Diamond. Now this is an older version of the Storm, but it still works extremely well. So you definitely know you're going to get your money's worth whenever you buy this equipment. And it is the Storm 400, so it emits up to 400 lumens on max brightness. And it does have the ability to transition between its max brightness and its lowest brightness. And if you transition and stop it somewhere in between and then you turn off the headlamp, whenever you turn it back on, it will return to the last brightness setting that it was on. So you don't have to worry about accidentally blinding yourself whenever you turn it on in the middle of the night. And the housing for the headlamp is waterproof and dustproof. So it, this is a very rugged and durable piece of equipment. And it runs on four AAA batteries. So I definitely recommend carrying an extra set of those just in case you run out of power while you're on the trail, you can swap out your batteries and you're good to go. And speaking of batteries, on max power, this headlamp will last five hours and on its lowest brightness setting, it will last 150 hours. So you can really get a lot of usage out of this if you're not blasting it on its max brightness all the time. And then as well, it has a red light option that it can switch to and the headlamp itself does weigh a little bit more than four ounces so that's not too bad for the amount of power and just the durability that you're getting with this piece of equipment so i would definitely recommend a the storm 400 or really any black diamond headlamp i hope you're enjoying this video if you are hit that thumbs up and if you have any questions leave them down below in the comments i'll respond as soon as i can and if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. That way you don't miss the next video in this series. The second piece of gear that I always bring with me on a backpacking trip is my compass. And this compass is made by Sunto. And as far as I can tell, they don't make this specific model anymore, but it most resembles the M3 model that Sunto makes. But a compass is really a compass. So unless you smash it, it's gonna keep working. So I just keep rolling with this old guy and well, he hasn't failed me yet. Anyway, I do think it's important that backpackers still bring a compass with them whenever they go backpacking. Despite having our phones that have GPS and compasses and all that already on them, you never know when you may be completely out of service or your phone may die. And having a compass just gives you a little extra reassurance that you'll be able to find your way and navigate. There's a little bit of nostalgia with using a compass because it makes me feel like an explorer and just one of those adventurers from the old days that was first out here exploring this land. So that may be part of the reason why I still like to bring a compass with me. But I also think it's just kind of fun to be able to keep track of your general location throughout the hike. Plus, I think it's a good skill to still know. The next piece of gear that I always bring with me on a backpacking trip is a knife. Now, I actually bring a multi-tool instead of a knife, and this is the Super Tool 300 by Leatherman. And I will admit a multi-tool is probably a little bit overkill, and you could get away just using a normal knife but you never know when you may have to use the pliers to grab onto a hot pan while you're cooking or use the can opener to open up a can of tuna that doesn't have a pull tab or use the pliers to reset an o-ring on your backpack so that it stays attached to the frame and these all are real examples of when i've used my multi-tool while backpacking and so for me i think it is worthwhile to bring a multi-tool just because it's going to help prepare you for unforeseen situations and difficulties that you may run into while on the trail. 
but like I mentioned earlier, a normal knife would probably suffice. So you could save a little bit of weight and just bring a normal knife. It's really up to you. All right, well, that sums up the main three pieces of gear that I'll always bring with me on a backpacking trip. But before I go, I do want to add a couple more odds and ends. And first are MicroPure tablets by Katadin. Now, I did cover these in detail in the previous video of this series, but if you're starting with me now, these are a way of chemically purifying water so that you can drink it. So just in case, I always bring backup MicroPure tablets so that I can always purify water. And my second piece of odds and ends is rope. You never know when you may need to hang up some clothes or lash something into your backpack or help secure your rain fly. There's just countless uses that a rope can serve while you're backpacking that you could really never foresee. So I think it's important to always throw in a length of rope, like maybe a hundred feet or so. That way you can always, that way you've got rope that you can use. You never know when you may need it, but you don't want to not have it. Well, that really sums up the necessary gear that I will always bring with me on a backpacking trip. You got a headlamp, a compass, and a knife, as well as the odds and ends like extra micro pure tablets and rope. And if you made it this far in the video, I do really appreciate it. I appreciate your time and support. And if you know anybody that could benefit or enjoy this video, please share it with them. And do remember that this is the gear that works best for me. So you're the one who's going to be using the gear at the end of the day. So find stuff that you enjoy using and then get out on the trail and put it to use. Until next time, keep on trekking.